collection would be possible only when the liability cost comes down substantially. Okay, so what you're saying is there may be a small window to control uh, to uh, lower lending rates in the next two or three months if the repo rate were cut. Yes, I mean, I mean, a 25 basis point is the uh, at best in fact which can come. Okay. But any further reduction, uh, I don't think in fact is going to be independent uh, reduction unless and until the inflation also moves in, in in sync. Okay, so unless inflation moves down, you will not be able to bring down deposit and lending rates. Therefore, and therefore any increase in loan offtake also doesn't look uh, uh, possible for you because of a lowered rate. You are admitting that you know beyond probably quarter percent, uh, you will not be able to. Lower lower rates and therefore uh, encourage encouraging lending through lower rates doesn't look very likely in the foreseeable future no, uh, definitely lending uh, in certain segments have happened uh, by reducing the interest rate especially on the retail segment and some of the uh, SME segment but the the scope for a deep uh, reduction in interest rate and a big jump in the credit offtake can happen only when the inflation moves down. Okay. So, in a vicarious way, perhaps uh, the cut in interest rates uh, by the Reserve Bank will not hurt imports because will not lead to higher non oil imports because, in any case, the banks don't look like uh, they will be able to make lending rates uh, much lower and thereby increase uh, uh, perhaps uh, industrial demand. Well, uh, Dr. Chaudhary, uh, you know, the other issue I wanted to ask you was really uh, the fiscal deficit and uh, the reduction, uh, uh, the hike in diesel prices. I mean, what is 45 price coming to annually? Uh, on, on a full year basis, uh, at the end of the year, uh, diesel may be more expensive by uh, about 5 rupees 50 pies. But for the year as a whole, the average rise in diesel price is going to be 2 rupees 75 pies. Uh, you know, last year in one shot itself, we had increased diesel prices by 5 rupees. And if you take the 45 pies for uh, Jan, Feb and March, it's actually a, a good 6, 6.5 rupees that we raised. So, do you think we are doing enough to control the diesel demand and uh, uh, thereby control uh, the current account deficit? Uh, should we not at some point in time have to increase this dose by, uh, you know, at least one uh, uh, substantial jump in diesel price? These things are a matter of uh, managing the increase. As you know, that is a lot of, it is not a very easy thing to do. And uh, one only wishes we had begun earlier on the small increases. Mm -hmm. Small increases are better than no increases. Small steady increases are even better than small unsteady increases. And at least we are getting some increase and some adjustments. The fact is the consumer is a is better place to adjust if the increases are small and regular rather than increase of significantly large. So, you know, one can argue this any which way, you can take any position which is possible, they all will have some validity, but I think this is one way that system is working and uh, I, as long as it is moving in the right direction, I am okay with it. No, it may be politically perhaps the best way to do it, uh, uh, Dr. Chaudhary, but I am wondering whether from a current account point of view, this is adequate. Uh, it is possible that… Empty uh, you room, we are not speaking at a seminar. <laughs> Dada, we are not at a seminar room. If you want something to be done, it has to be able to be done. What is the point discussing something that is not possible? No, I'm just wondering if the current account deficit will suddenly balloon so much because of oil imports uh, contributing substantially and thereby, you know, forcing our hand uh, at a later date uh, or, uh, uh, you know... Current account deficit has not has ballooned to some extent because of oil, but oil is not the surprise element. The surprise element has really been gold. We thought gold imports will come off this year. It hasn't come off anywhere near as much as we thought we did. That's the surprise element. And we have all the banks setting up EF, the ETFs, they are the ones importing gold. So unless the gold, the whole equity, this whole dynamic changes a bit against gold as an asset class, I think we will continue to have some problems. Okay, uh, uh, let me f uh, uh, finally come to uh, Prasanna on, you know, the extent to which you can expect rates to fall at all in uh, 2013. Uh, the banker is already telling us that, uh, you know, he is not going to get his raw material uh, deposits uh, at much lower rates. Uh, people are not giving it. Uh, uh, inflation psyche, inflation expectation psyche cannot be controlled in a day or in a month or even in a quarter. So, Prasanna, how much do you think the Reserve Bank can move? And basically, how much do you think cost of money in the system itself can come down in FI14? I think uh, there is room by around 50 bips. Uh, probably within the next three to six months, they should be able to affect this uh, 50 bips of reduction. Perhaps they may start in the next week's review itself or maybe they may choose to wait till May. 
And as far as cost of funds is concerned, yes, I, I agree uh, that inflation has to come down. The retail level inflation has to stabilize at least before coming down. Also, I think it's a function of liquidity. So I think probably what is also happened is I think a lot of our uh, views are colored by what we've seen over the last three to six months when liquidity has been substantially tight. Typically what happens in the first half of a new financial year, liquidity eases and therefore maybe that will uh, ensure that the cost of liabilities do come down for the banking system uh, because the wholesale cost will come down and therefore banks will be in a better position to pass on. But wholesale costs anyway are a smaller part of their entire liability basket. Uh, 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 but, but Mr. Sishadri, uh, uh, do you foresee FY14 being a, a, a good year in terms of uh, loan growth? Will it be better than FY13? I know we are asking you too early in the day, but what is the sense you are getting if you are not going to be able to reduce deposit costs anytime soon? I think as far as loan growth is concerned, 12-13 has been one of the, the, the very uh, worst year. And I don't think, in fact, uh, uh, you will have a repeat. However, I don't see a very dramatic growth, in fact, in 13-14. You'll have a marginal, slow uh, uh, growth happening, uh, not very significant, uh, very gradual. But definitely we see, in fact, at least a, 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 a percentage point or so, mm. uh, growth in, in, in loan uh, in 13-14. This will be accompanied by maybe 25 basis to 50 basis point cut, in fact, over a period of 12 months' time. Mm. And the real key is how the inflation behaves. The yes. key is, in fact, how the oil behaves. Actually, that's very important. Mm. And current account deficit, which, in fact, we talked about, is a very crucial uh, joker in the piece. I think these three uh, factors together will decide uh, how the great growth spans. Okay. Well, uh, Dr. Chaudhary, a final question to you. If there isn't going to be that much of monetary stimulus, uh, as the banker is putting it, uh, a maximum of uh, maybe 25 to 50 basis, and he doesn't foresee too much by way of loan growth, we know that fiscal stimulus uh, is not planned and cannot be planned. What happens to growth then? Uh, you know, uh, on what basis at all can we forecast six and six and a half over the current uh, sub five levels? Growth will recover slowly, and uh, the current moment isn't always the even eternal moment. Otherwise, you'd never have come off 9.3% growth in 2010-11 to 5% growth this year, no? Mm. So things change, and things will change the next year. Things will change slowly. I agree with Mr. Shishadri, they will not change in a hurry. They'll pick up momentum, and as long as the policy gradients are all right, the momentum will only build up. It's, it's when the policy gradient isn't all right and a lot of surprises happen. That's when the, the momentum is lost and things go off in the wrong direction. So I think next year will be a year of mending and it will mend slowly but surely. So would you say six will be possible, six and a half, or do you think it will be a I'm sub not saying six? Any, I'm not saying anything at the moment. Okay. But President, would you care to say we'll what might be the uh, 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 GDP we can possibly manage uh, given that stimuli at least are not there? I think we'll be lucky if we get 6%. But having said that, I would agree with uh, Dr. Chaudhary. I don't think it's so important to focus on a number. As long as things are moving in the right direction, I think we should be optimistic. All right. On that uh, cautiously optimistic note, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on this discussion. That's uh, the key takeaway. The markets are expecting a rate cut, but uh, the learned minds I speak to are not really expecting anything, run any runaway improvement in the economy because of uh, the rate cut. Uh, uh, it will just be perhaps a sentiment booster for the moment. Uh, that's it on this edition of Indianomics. Thanks for watching.